Hello and welcome to this week's tutorial. We're painting the Reaper Miniatures Dwarf King and Throne set. So I didn't pre-shade the model. I just gave it an overall coat of uh, Dawnstone Grey, just as a primer coat almost, to get the stone texture or the correct colour for the stone. And then I did successive coats of dry brushing using Celestra Grey and Space Walls Grey. It's not just picking out the detail, it's trying to get a really nice gritty, stony texture um, for the subsequent weathering stages. So you can see on the throne, I'm adding a really quite a light and coat just to really pick out the detail, just where the light would catch. And this is repeated several times. So with the gray base coats pretty much done, I turn my attention to the bearskin rug. And for this, I used the Games Workshop Contrast Core Grunter Fur Paint. And it worked really nicely over the gray, really got a nice contrast between the light and shadow, which worked really well. And the brown contrasted really nicely with the gray on the base coat. It's got to be careful that you uh, don't go over any of this, the other surface details, but um, it worked out really quite nicely. So some areas have required a second coat, just the areas in shadows and so on and so forth. You see later on in the build, this is dry brushed as well. So the back of the base was given a coat of military and green contrast paint. I wasn't sure if this is a stone texture, but I thought the green would frame the throne really quite nicely and just break up the gray a little bit. So again, this received extra coats in areas that um, were in shadow, so on and so forth. And then you can make a start on the uh, weathering process. Now I'm using MIG oil brusher or MIG ammo oil brusher Starship Filth here. It works really well and dulls down the concrete. So I'm putting it on quite liberally. Uh, you can always add it in layers and use turpentine to remove any excess if you want. But it really brings out the detail. So I'm going back again, this time with a brown oil brusher and starting to build up some streaks just uh, on the side of the base. Now you can see here now I'm adding um, some slightly darker brown to the recesses of the steps and all these oil brushes I've been using are in the uh, description at the bottom of the video. You can see here it really starts dulling down there as a detail. So once the back of the diorama dried I went back and used a dark green oil brusher just to really bring out the details there and obviously scatter was added later. Now, returning the next day, I thought I'd add some more um, oil brush or washes. So again, this is like, again, really dark brown being added in the recesses of the steps. And it gives a really nice dirty ground in dirt appearance. Works really quite nicely. So the throne was also given a going over just to bring out the detail, the sigils on the front, so on and so forth. So next up, the metal was painted on the side of the diorama. I tried dry brushing, it didn't quite work. So I ended up using Balthazar Gold brushed on with the side of the brush, as you can see here. Then it was then given a dry brushing, a Sikrax bronze, just to really bring out the highlighted detail. It worked really quite nicely. A coat of Agrax Earthshade really helped add some contrast to the metallic areas. It worked really quite well. And then I went back did some more oil brushing, this time using light green, which is a really nice mossy colour. You can see I'm adding some more streaking grime here, just adding to areas where I'm going to be gluing on the scatter and so on and so forth. You can see it gives a really nice damp effect, it works really nicely. And this is applied really quite liberally, going backwards and forwards. And again, if you don't like it, just put some turpentine on and remove it. So once the metal worker dried, it was given a, here we go, Nylar Oxide from the Games Workshop uh, technical series of paints to add some corrosion. So again, the bear was given some um, shadow basically using Agrax Earthshade just around the edge, just to really add a, add, add a demarcation between the brown and the grey of the base. And obviously dry brushing took place later on as well. So you see some scatter on the side of the base. Now, unfortunately, the files corrupted where I put this on, but I used the Life Color Algae set, and that's all you see here. I'll add it in the description. Just adding a bit more contrast to the bare skin as well. Some shadows with Agrax Earthshade around the back of the throne and so on and so forth, just to add, again, another degree of contrast. Now, painting the sigils is really quite challenging. What I end up doing is mixing up in the uh, wet palette 
some Evil Sun Scarlet and some Flash Gits Yellow. Really quite diluted with some paint retarder. And what I was doing is going backwards and forwards, trying to get the two paints to fuse together. It really took quite a while. You've got to be careful it doesn't spill onto the grey of the base. But it looked quite effective and formed a nice contrast to the grey. All that was added later on was a black highlight around the edges. So you see now I'm going back with a lighter brown, just highlighting the bare skin a little bit because it did look a little monochromatic, just being careful again not to get any of the areas of the throne or the grey. So a final even lighter highlight was added and the model was getting near completion. The only thing that had to be done next is the claws had to be added to the model itself. This is done using your shabdi bone. So here we see the finished model. Now, as I said, unfortunately, some of the files got corrupted, so I couldn't show putting the scatter on the model. The items used are in the description, and they were just simply stuck on the on the base where I saw fit. It's trying to be as random as possible, really. I've also got the video for the actual dwarf figure. I thought the techniques there have been covered previously, so I didn't include it. But if anyone would like to see it, please leave it a note in the comments and I'll try and post up a video in the next couple of weeks. So thank you again for watching and take care. Bye bye.